What's up guys? I wanted to do a little bit of a prequel video for you guys. I've been doing the last couple on the muzzle brakes and what I do with them on the mill and how I finish them. But I haven't done one on what the muzzle brake starts as. As you can see, this is just solid bar stock. This is stainless in this case and um, three quarter OD. I used to go bigger and then turn it down to the diameter I wanted, but I found for the most part, I'm right around three quarter. It's a nice size for, for strength. And then I will just bell this out. I'll, I'll turn this diameter down to the diameter of the, of the, um, the barrel. So, and then just bell it out till you get to your full OD. Um, what I'll do first is I'll spin it and center drill it so I get a good starting point to run a drill through it. I drill it small first just because it's easier to drill and then I'll follow up with the bit of the correct size. I've done them as small as like 12 thousandths over bore, but I generally like to do between 20 and 30 just to be safe so you don't have any strikes or anything like that but as I'll show you with this one and I've shown it in some past Instagram posts I will do a little bit of a lineup on the barrel and then I will recess that same lineup into the brake with only like a thousandths or two tolerance so no matter if your threads are off a little bit and wobbly which these shouldn't be anyways but um, when you tighten it down and you get to the ledge, it will use that lineup and you'll be within two thousandths of being true to your bore. So that eliminates anything as far as happening, happening to strike the inside of the brake. So I can go with those tighter tolerances, but like I said, I prefer to go around 20 thousandths, 30 thousandths, just depending on, um, the uh, caliber so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna center drill this and get a hole started through here and I'll come back all right so there's my center drilled hole like I said earlier I'm gonna follow up through with a undersized drill to get a hole bored through it. Then we'll follow up again with the correct size. All right guys, I got the hole bored through this piece of bar stock well undersized but I'm gonna follow up with the correct uh, diameter that I want for this brake to be so I'll check back in after I get it to the correct size All right, guys, it is bored to the correct diameter now. I'll have to clean that out. Um, next step will be to machine the, the rear of the brake for um, half inch 28 threads. So I'm gonna bore this out at the rear to 460 thousandths for a depth about 560 thousandths and then I will relieve it and then I'll relieve it on the end to my specific diameter for my lineup which I threaded onto the barrel which I talked to you guys about earlier to ensure the brake's going to be running within a few thousandths of being true so I'll check back again once I have this um, board out to the correct specs all right guys 
Bowles board to 460 thousandths. Next step is to relieve it internally, then like I said, out here on the edge from my lineup. And after that, it'll be time to thread it and then profile the outside. All right, guys, as you can see, I got it relieved. Um, I relieved that to 510 thousandths. And if you can see here on my threads here, my line up here at the rear is 508 thousandths. So when the brakes tighten down, it can only be out of true at max two thousandths which is less than a sheet of paper. So you're not going to have any issues as far as uh, the bullet striking the inside of your brake between this line up and then the clearance you make in your um, bore diameter. So next step is to thread the brake and then I'll contour the outside to start out as matching the OD of the barrel here and then it'll bell out to the 750 thousands which this bar stock already is so i'll be back again once we get a little bit more progress here all right guys so we're just getting finished up threading this um i use a spring-loaded center and then just a tap with a handle here i did it first with a standard tap that's tapered at the end to get started nice and square and then I follow up with a bottoming tap which I I made from your standard tap and then I just took it on the surface grinder and ground it flat because with um, a hole like this that's not a through hole it's hard to get those last couple threads up against the shoulder and you're definitely not going to get it with a standard tap that's tapered at the end so I'll show you here it's just flat it to the surface grinder so it's full diameter threads the whole way to the tip um then i also relieve it up and up in here too so you're definitely getting threads the whole way um so yeah it's hard to see here i don't have my air compressor on to clean this hole out to show you but there she is next step will be to contour the the outside diameter of this and then part it off and then it'll go to the mill and do what i did in my previous video like i said i'm kind of doing like a prequel here going in reverse um because i didn't record this step in my muzzle brake building process at the time so you could actually start with this and then watch the previous video if you kind of want to step by step the whole way through so yeah i'll be back once it's contoured and parted off okay so my end goal is to have the end of this break at 632 thousands to match up with the uh, od of the barrel so i just uh kind of stepped it back until i got to the od that i wanted here a couple thousands over what I wanted so I'm gonna polish it here with some sandpaper to get it down exactly where I want it but um so yeah you step it back till you get the OD that you want and then I just kind of freehanded this contour um, once I polish it here with some sandpaper I will um you won't have this sharp edge right here it'll flow nice like a bell um, so what I'll do next is I'll, I'll cover up my ways and everything. I don't, I don't like using sandpaper on a lay that's, it's can be very damaging, but I'll be very careful and cover everything. And then I'll get that polished down to what I need. And then next step will be parting it off. So I'll be back after I part it. All right, guys, here she is. I started off with um, some 180 grit, then 220, and then I finished with 500. 
you can see the contour goes down to the correct diameter of 632 thousandths to mate up with the barrel um being that this is a matte finish on this gun i don't i probably didn't even have to go to the 500 finish on it um because i'll be putting it in the blast cabinet and bead blasting it i can put a link to um the the bead fiberglass beads that i use from brownells and um I'll also, I'm not sure if I can do it yet, I'm new to this whole YouTube thing, but I see people link other videos of theirs, and if I can do that, I will link my previous video, which actually shows you what the next step of building a muzzle brake is, so if I'm able to do that, I'll link it in the video, if not, it'll be in the description below, um, comments and questions, leave them, and I'd be happy to get back with you guys. Thanks.